subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Title, Installing Operating Systems Using PIP, a comprehensive tutorial. Introduction PIP, PIP installs packages, is a package manager for Python that simplifies the process of installing and managing software packages. While it is primarily used for Python libraries and packages, it can also be utilized for installing operating systems in virtual environments. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the process of installing an operating system using PIP, with a focus on creating a virtual environment and using a specific example. Prerequisites Step 1, Install PyPenv, optional but recommended. Pipenv is a tool that aims to bring the best of all packaging worlds, bundled, required, and development, to the Python world. It is optional but recommended for managing virtual environments. Install Pipenv using the following command. Step 2, Create a Virtual Environment. Navigate to the directory where you want to create your virtual environment and execute the following commands. This will create a virtual environment and activate it. Step 3, install the operating system package. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll use the example OS package as a placeholder for the operating system. Replace this with the actual package name you intend to use. Install the package using pip. Step 4, verify the installation. Ensure that the operating system is installed correctly within the virtual environment. You can use the following command to check the installed packages. You should see the example OS package listed. Step 5, run the operating system. Now that the operating system is installed, you can run it using the appropriate command. This command may vary depending on the specific operating system package you installed. Refer to the documentation of the package for instructions on how to run it. Step 6, Deactivate the virtual environment. Once you're done working with the virtual environment, you can deactivate it using the following command. Conclusion Congratulations! You've successfully installed an operating system using PIP within a virtual environment. This approach helps isolate dependencies and ensures a clean environment for your project. Remember to replace example OS with the actual package name of the operating system you want to install. Always refer to the documentation of the specific package for any additional configuration or usage instructions. Chat GPT